This is a neuron. It is made up of dendrites, a nucleus, myelin sheath, nodes of Renvier, axon terminals, and an axon. Impulses come through the dendrites and flow through the axon from the presynaptic cell to the postsynaptic cell. Now, as the signal travels through the axon, it is sped up by the myelin sheath that surround the axon and triggers channels and pumps that lay within the nodes of Renvier's. These channels and pumps consist of sodium potassium pumps, a sodium channel, and potassium channel. These channels and pumps are activated, changing the action potential. The blue channel shows the sodium channel, and the red channel shows the potassium channel and their corresponding ions. The green one shows the sodium potassium pump. Now moving on to the action potential graph. On the x-axis of the graph, we have time, and on the y-axis of the graph, we have membrane potential in millivolts. The graph shows that as the membrane potential reaches a threshold point, it triggers depolarization, which is characterized by sodium intake, and then goes on to repolarize, which is characterized by potassium outflow. It hits a period of hyperpolarization to stop reverse flow of the signal, and then reaches its resting potential again, ready to take on the next impulse. Action potential causes vesicles to fuse with the presynaptic membrane and release their neurotransmitter molecules into the synapse. Released neurotransmitter molecules bind with the autoreceptors and inhibit subsequent neurotransmitter release. Released neurotransmitter molecules bind to postsynaptic receptors and released neurotransmitter molecules are deactivated either by reuptake or enzymatic degradation. Now moving on to toxins. Tetradoxin is a toxin involved in sodium channel blocking. Several species that carry the toxin include pufferfish, porcupine fish, ocean sunfish, and triggerfish, and inhibits the firing of action potentials in nerves by binding to the voltage-gated sodium channels in nerve cell membranes and blocking the passage of sodium ions to the nerve cell. In other words, it prevents the nervous system from carrying messages and prevents muscles from flexing. Conotoxins are another type of toxin that affects the ion channels. They can be found in the cone snail. Conotoxins target numerous different channels within the body. The kappa conotoxin attacks the potassium channels. It blocks the potassium channels and interferes with repolarization. In the worst case scenario, kappa conotoxins could cause cardiac toxicity by blocking the potassium channels in the heart.